All right. Hi, it's Tuesday. You're watching Tasty Tuesday, a show where it's Tuesday. I try to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it works. Please, can it work this week? Pretty please, please? Food gods, are you hearing any of this? So, a couple weeks ago, I made some beer chili, which was pretty bomb, you should check that out. And I made cornbread from a box to go with it. While I was doing that, I promised you I would do a separate video featuring some bomb ass, dank ass, homemade cornbread. And that's what this video will hopefully be. Though I've been on a losing streak of not having things be completely tasty, I'm really hoping to break that streak today, and I'm really hoping the Packers break their streak too. Come on, baby. Go pack go. Come on. The lions are doing better than us. What is this? Anyway, originally I was hoping to make this part of the Thanksgiving series, but we ran out of weeks until Thanksgiving. I don't know what happened to that. So in case you feel like you did not get your fair share of cornbread at Thanksgiving, here is some hopefully bomb ass cornbread. Let's make this dish. Step one, preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. That's Oh, very hot. And I'm gonna go based off one of the reviews on this recipe, which by the way, this recipe was supposedly put together by an 11 year old, which I think is impressive in itself. One of the top reviews on this recipe, and I'll link the recipe down below if you wanna check it out, was to bake it in a cast iron skillet. I have never used a cast iron skillet, but I thought this would be the perfect time to try it. Also, I heard and confirmed via the internet that cooking food in a cast iron skillet actually gives you iron. What? That sounds so made up, but it's true. Which which made me wonder why don't they make skillets out of vitamin D? That's what I'm really lacking in. Shark Tank, get on it. Anyway, in the review, it said to preheat this with the oven. So that's what I'm doing. Also, I was reading a lot on what, how you're supposed to use a cast iron skillet. I guess you're supposed to like season it. I didn't season it, but it says it's pre-seasoned. So we're just gonna go with it. If this doesn't turn out tasty, I'm blaming the skillet 100%. Earlier, I also put two tablespoons of flaxseed and mixed it with three tablespoons of water. And I'm just letting that kind of like sit and gel like on my counter, FYI. Next, we're gonna take a medium bowl and put these things in it. One cup of all-purpose flour. Dude, flour loves black pants. You wanna cook with black pants? Maybe don't have flour in your recipe. There's a tip for you. Oh! Right. One cup of cornmeal, a fourth a cup of sugar, four teaspoons baking powder, three fourths teaspoons salt, and also by suggestion of the review of this recipe, one tablespoon of vital wheat gluten. This is for binding. I like to say things that make me sound like I know what I'm talking about. Really, I know nothing. I'm a monkey. I do what the recipe says. And then we're just gonna whisk those up nice and good. Nice and well, nice and good, nice and good. I whisk that all of my food would be tasty. Stop. Now, to this mixture where you're gonna add these ingredients. Our flaxseed mixture, or if you're in a no flax zone, you can add two eggs. This is a flax zone here, so we're doing this. Do it. Oh my gosh, what else? One cup of milk and a fourth cup of canola. Manola oil, or mazola oil, or manola oil. Not that last one. Now we're gonna beat this until just smooth, but do not overbeat. Beauty gurus, you don't need to overbeat your face. You're pretty the way you are. Is that, is that overbeat or underbeat? I don't know. Ugh, I just wanna do a good job. Please, can I do a good job? Please? Hello? Sure. It tastes like cornbread. I mean, obviously the texture needs to change in there. Anyway, also per suggestion of the review of this recipe, if you added the vital wheat gluten to that, we're just gonna let it sit for like 10 to 15 minutes and get like more glutinous. That's a thing, so I know about it. Also, our cast iron skillet should be all warmed up, so let's bring that out. Hey, let's have a look-see. It's gonna be very hot, made of iron. Wow, this barely protects me from how hot that is. And we're just gonna take a couple tablespoons of oil and just oil it up like it's sunbathing in the Bahamas. Get a tan. I bought these cute little potholes holders for that cast iron skillet and they're lost already because everything just gets lost in this house. It just gets eaten. See you in eight minutes. Now that our batter is just the rootinous, glutinist thing you ever did see, we're gonna put it in our cast iron skillet. Oh yes, this is the first time I've ever used this. So excited. Okay, now we're just gonna pop that in our oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. Yay, be the bombest, be the dankest. I'm ready for it. All right, see you then. Okay, I just took this out. For me, it was a little less than 20 minutes. It was about 18 and a half, 19 minutes. Thank you. There's the timer. If you're using a glass pan, you might have to go all the way up to 25 minutes. I don't know. You test it. It's your oven. It's, I don't know your life. But anyway, I did a toothpick test and it seems done. Look at this. Oh, yes. 
I'm gonna let it sit for like 10 minutes to cool. I really hope this comes out tasty. If it doesn't, I just can't handle it. I'm sorry, I just, I want them to be amazing. Why was I put on this planet? If you have any suggestions for how to improve this channel, I'm all ears. <laughs> Cause corn. Goodbye comedy, goodbye. All right, let's see if this is tasty. Please food gods, please let this be tasty. Please. I am using all of my holiday wishes. Please let this be bomb ass and dank ass and tasty. Hi. What's up, girl? Okay, so I'm hoping that this is a bomb ass, dank ass cornbread. Okay. I'm praying to the Tasty Tuesday gods that this week. <laughs> they are legion, at least they are legion. <laughs> we know they're on your side. Make sure you have your giant bottle of vodka next to you yep. when you're eating yep. this. Gotta have it. Just swish it all down. Damn. Yeah? Hey, that's great. You like it? I love it. Oh my gosh, yes! It's tasty! <laughs> Guys. I feel like we need a moment. You actually this have been personally great. affected by my distaste for this show lately. What? <laughs> These aren't my recipes, so I'm not like personally offended when you don't like them. I just got spoiled by the fact that most of the time it was tasty for a good long, like years, like yeah, but that's like, why every like time I'm at VidCon, every kid's like, yo, you don't really mean it on Tasty Tuesday. I'm like, honestly, I do. There were probably four in the very beginning where I was like, pretty like, yeah, the yo, very don't say exactly what you think because <laughs> Nicky Limo don't like it. But then I was like, I got to the point where I was like, nah, fuck it, I don't like this. No, they're not my recipes. I don't take offense, but I... It does make me feel good when we find one that we like. And also, if a recipe takes a really long time and then it's not tasty, I'm like, fuck you, recipe, for taking up my time. That's, this is so good, bud. Yes. Okay, good job. One variation on this, I would make is if you want it to be more savory you could add chili peppers to it or some maple mm, syrup don't don't touch it green weird. chilies you had weird shit and it gets weird man no just leave it alone if you want to add chilies and cheese you'd go right on ahead and I support you anyway subscribe so you don't miss any of this I'm so happy this was tasty we're gonna start getting some holiday recipes to get fucking yeah, pumped but you, yeah, but you cheated why I can't say what she cheated what she knows how did I cheat okay <laughs> You're such a weirdo. They're gonna believe that. What do you call something that's hot and full of alcohol?